Good afternoon, Russell students and staff. I'm Zach. And I'm Colin. And you are Inside the Nest. The Middle School Student Council will be holding a meeting today, February 6th, in Mrs. Miller's room. FCA will meet today in Mrs. Need's room. Congratulations to Noah Wewu for becoming Rossville's first ever in any individual sport two-time regional champion. Noah demolished number two wrestler in the state with a score of seven to three. Although that might not sound like a large margin, the only points the enemy scored were ones against Noah gave him. Big shout out to Jacob Cole and Noah Weaver for being regional runner-ups. All three will compete at Newcastle this weekend for a spot at state championship in Evansville. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. Wrestling starts at 9 a.m. Saturday at 1 on the of the coolest indoor venues in the nation at Newcastle High School. Unleash a swarm. Not a Greg with today's lunch. Today's lunch is chicken quesadilla or spicy chicken, lettuce and tomato, black beans, and pineapple. Tomorrow's lunch is pancakes with sausage or bacon cheeseburger, mini peppers, hash brown, and some applesauce. I've been Gregory, and back to you on Inside the Nest. Thanks, Greg. Congrats to the Hornet Middle School wrestling team for dismantling the Faith Christian Eagles 82-21. to The Swarm also lost a tough match to the Brawny Carroll Cougars with a final team score of 34-61. to Make sure to tell the Fallen Hornets congratulations for getting wins last night. Joseph Thompson-Smith, Jack Padgett, Dixon Cole, Landon Snyder, Austin Wilson, Asher Filia, Corbin Martin, Jackson Pattingale, Ace Bevins, Lucas Bush, Jack Gustin, and Owen Schneeb. Special shout out to Evan McDonald and Timothy Lamb for getting the first wins of their careers in dominant fashion. The first home match will be this Thursday in the field house against Western. Let's pack the house at 6 p.m. and support our middle school wrestling team. Unleash the swarm. The Rossville Lady Hornet 8th grade basketball team dropped a heartbreaker to East Tip last evening with a spirited multiple comeback effort that had the game decided in the final seconds with a score of 34 to 32. Leading the Ville in scoring was guard Mimi Nicholas, who had a season high of 11 points. Other scorers on the team were Addie Brunton with 7, Brielle Layton with 6, Chesney Beaver with 3, Claire Heater and Jillian Morse, each with 2, and Ava Dux with 1. Now to cue with today's weather. Today's weather is a low of 30, a high of 44, with no rain. Back to you guys on Inside the Nest. Thank you, Q. The Lady Hornets will bounce back this Thursday when they play county rival Clinton Prairie at home. Senior Peyton Smith and 8th grader Lincoln St. Meyer are the winners of the Hydro Flask and Stanley. The Hydro Flask had 1,083 M&Ms and the Stanley had 1,257. Thank you for participating in this National Honor Society event to promote reusable cups. The Middle School Student Council will be holding a movie night this Friday, February 9th, starting at 3.30. The cost of entry will be $1. Students are welcome to bring blankets as well. We will be washing Puss and Boots. There will also be a fun food surprise for all who attend. Colin, do noodles belong in chili? Yes. Come to the 9th and 10th grades chili fundraiser February 9th before the boys' basketball game. Tickets are $5 at the door. Dinner will be chili, a peanut butter sandwich, a drink, and a dessert. 9th and 10th graders, please see the sign-up sheets on your sponsor's door to see how you can help. We need all hands to make this a success. Miss Allen, our new Ivy Tech College Connection Coach, will be in student services all day on Thursday, February 15th. This is a great opportunity to get any questions you might have in regard to Ivy Tech answered. The athletic department is looking for student help to run the scoreboard at basketball games this February and March for girls' games in grades 5 through 8. If you're interested, please let Mr. Burkle or Mrs. Hompko know, and details can be worked out about the potential for a stipend for your help at events. Now to Colin with today's sports. All right, today's sports, there are none. Back to you on Inside the Nest. Thank you, Colton. Students, reminder that in order to use the weight room after school hours or on weekends, you must, be, you must be directly supervised by a coach or a staff member at all times who is willing to supervise you. Your cooperation is greatly appreciated. InvestSide will be at Rosso on February 20th at 6 p.m. in our NPR to assist senior families with the FAFSA. The $400 scholarship drawing adds an exciting incentive for seniors attending the FAFSA completion night. This event is a wonderful opportunity for families to receive assistance with the new FAFSA filing system and for a senior to have a chance to earn some funds for college. Thank you to the sponsors, including AAA Plumbing, Creekside Growers, Not Family Dentistry, and the Russell Business Association for their support. We hope the event is a success. Uh, juniors and seniors, on April 17th, WCCC will host their first annual reverse job fair at Arborwood by Shoops. Students will have the opportunity to interview and get hired for summer jobs, jobs after graduation, and WBL opportunities for the 2024-2025 school year. To prepare for the reverse job fair, students can also participate in the pre-fair workshop on April 10th at the Frankfurt Public Library, where they will have the opportunity to practice their interview skills, update their resumes, and learn about how to make a good first impression. This pre-fair workshop is required for students applying for WBL or capstone opportunities for next year. If interested, sign up with student services so we can register you. Today's joke.
Where do mice park their boats? Where? At the Hickory Dickory Dock. <laughs> I've been Zach. And I've been Colin. And you've been inside the nest.